Hey guys, Keegan Fishing Creek Outdoors here. Um, I got a package today, which I already opened it up, so that's why it's like this. Um, and, well, it was my first fish order ever, and it was uh, a successful one. So here we, here we go. I'll show you how this kind of worked here. Hold up. I'm trying to do this one hand, I did not. Right, so when I opened the box up, they had this really nice thick piece of wool. Inside, um, they have a piece of newspaper covering the heat pack. The heat pack is still very, very warm. Um, and they have this completely outlined with um, uh, insulation wool. Um, so, here we go. I got a black spotted spiny eel. He's about six inches, maybe six and a half. Um, I got him for the 75 gallon eel tank and my fire eel and uh, tire track eel will be moved over from that tank but I'm putting this guy straight in here so I have another package coming today with three more eels um, and you'll find out what those are later so I'll, I'll get a picture of him when he's out of the bag hey guys Keegan Fishing Creek Outdoors here um, I did get my other shipment in here, like, five minutes after the other shipment came in. Um, this package was packed amazing. Um, they had this packed down this, and they had all this folded over in the bag sitting in the middle. Um, completely insulated. The heat pack was still warm. Um, I can see this here. Oh, this is the receipt. Yeah, so... I got uh, two Borneo Python eels and one orange spotted eel. Um, so I guess I'll show you. Uh, there's the orange spotted eel. He's a Tanganyika eel. So he's going to be a little different than the Asian eels. Um, so he's from Africa, Tanganyika Lake. The only lake in Africa that has eels is Lake Tanganyika. Um, there's the black spider that's still acclimating, and here are the two Borneos. Um, I don't really care what size they are. They were these guys are so rare that I just bought. I uh, just bought them. I didn't care what size they were. So there's one of them, and I got a second one. So um, I'll do another video when I'm releasing them, and I'll have that dude. Film me. Uh, here's a better picture of the. You make your block spot. It's funny. You know, your new YouTube background. I don't know, man. I uh, we'll release him in a minute. Hey guys, um, I got black spotted eel in. Oh, she's kind of gone to the. In here, in one of these tubes. There he is. And the orange spot eel is sitting. Right there. It's a very odd eel because he's a uh, uh, Tanganyikan. He'll make a, a a good piece in the tank. Kind of see Mr. Eel. Now this will be these pipes. There's another one in there which the fire eel is hiding in. Um, in the other tank, uh, this will be completely covered with driftwood. Uh, Anubius Nana tied to it and everything. There will be Jungle Val completely covering Dwarf Sagittaria for some ground cover. Uh, some Amazon Sword and some uh, Red Crypt. will be a nice tank. So. Well, insulation is going to be pretty easy. Black Spot Eel, I mean the Orange Spot Eel right there. And then the Black Spot Eel kind of these are the stuff. Fragile, okay, um, this is our kind of the final video when everybody settled in. Um, in this tube is my tire track eel that I moved over from that tank. That tube has the black spotted eel. He kind of has his head out. You can see him. 
Um, and the orange spot kind of disappeared from his... Uh, he's probably hiding under one of the tubes. Actually, I, I can sort of kind of see him. He's wedged right under there. So, and here's a big fire eel. He'll go in there. I just I want the, the smaller eels to be able to settle in. Um, over in the 20 long. I don't know if any of them are out. Okay, here's one of them. There's one Borneo Python eel. I got two of the cooler ones hiding. This one doesn't really have the 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 black um the black yet and the little dots on its head, but the other one did. He really looked like a Borneo python. But these are just little three inch Borneo python eels. Um they'll get a lot bigger, they'll get the size of a fire eel. But I saw them and I picked I just ordered them immediately. Because I know how rare these guys are. And I picked them up immediately and kind of swam up in the log there. I think the other one's up in there too. There's his head. Uh. Anyway, I'll show them all the eels when they're feeding later on.